So we're here looking at the uh, Megiars Scratch X 2.0. I've had this for a pretty long time. Um, I don't think I've ever tried to use it. I think my wife uh, bought it to try fixing a scratch on her car and maybe maybe she didn't have much success or something. Um, it's just languished in a box, but um, I just tried it a minute ago on a scratch down here uh, that you can't see anymore. Um, I mean, if you really look for it, it with the naked eye and just the right light, you can kind of find where it used to be. So maybe if I were to buff it more, you wouldn't even be able to find that. But um, well, then I notice up on the roof up here, there's a couple little scratches and these are sort of, you know, they're superficial. And so what I read on the internet is that, you know, if, if the scratch is bad enough for your fingernail to catch in it, then, then it's a no-go. And, and you know, you can kind of feel it, but it's not like catching. So we're going we're gonna to try it out here. Um, and the way this stuff works is really simple. You just put it on a terry cotton cloth. Terry, cotton terry cloth or a, a foam pad you can use a, a dual action polisher um, buff the affected area using overlapping passes uh, so yeah if you're gonna if you're using one of those drill foam pad on a drill things make sure you're you're not just sitting there you've got to really kind of go in circles as it spins in circles so that uh sorry that might have made you dizzy so you got to be You know, trying to get an even application, but see the way that I just demonstrated that the center is going to be getting a lot more application. That's not really ideal. Um, anyways, uh, I just used a cotton cloth on this one over here, rubbed it a little bit, uh, rubbed it some more, then went and got the wet, the rag wet, came back and kind of wiped it off. And this area, obvious. I mean, if it's not obvious, uh, I already cleaned this off. I took a damp rag to it and kind of wiped it off. A uh, nice cotton cloth. It was clean. You don't want to be trying to uh, polish something that's uh, dirty. You'll just make it worse. So let's uh, let's see if I can get you set up here somehow to kind of watch the process. Oh, they did it on cotton cloth. Oh, that's right. I'm going to try this. Uh, I wanted to try these microfiber claws, but uh, this outer one's a little dirty, so I'm going to use the inside one instead. So I'm not going to use this first one. I'm going to use one of the inside. So it doesn't it's sit in my garage getting dirty. It does say on here you can use microfiber or cotton uh, product onto a 100% cotton terry towel or foam applicator pad. Well, I guess not. Remove excess with a quality microfiber or 100% cotton terry towel. Uh, okay, so maybe I shouldn't apply it with this. Let's see. Where did my cotton towel go? Yeah. Um, this one's still slightly damp from uh, cleaning it off. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway. I mean, it's the worst that could happen, right? So I'm just putting a little bit on here. Didn't take much for me a minute ago. So there it is. And, uh, oh. Okay, so there's the scratches. And you can see them pretty good on the film here. I'm kind of impressed by that. If it stays in focus, but let's just uh, go to town. Now it says not to get this stuff on any rubber or vinyl, so I'm trying to keep it away from that seal. I don't need to. I don't need to get the fine scratch next to it so bad that I that I'm going to rot the seal out. But the bigger ones weren't really right on the edge there, so I'll just focus on those for now. And it says to work it into the uh, scratch really good.
then remove excess. And uh, I mean, do you see any scratch there? Yeah, I haven't gotten, there's there's a big long one here and then one here I haven't gotten to those yet. I certainly can. Okay, there, there's a little bit right there. Let's see if I can get a little bit more on here. It's a slightly bigger scratch surface than I was doing the last time. It's kind of messy, but I'm doing it one-handed. Meanwhile, trying not to scratch the uh, door down here with the zipper on my coat. Shouldn't should have taken this off, but think there I think it looks pretty good it says you can remove the excess with a microfiber so I guess I can try that now um, where did I put that thing oh here it is right. and for those of you who don't know you're not supposed to put microfiber in the dryer if you do it uh, kind of kills the lint free property of it so you won't be able to keep it lint free anymore. And that's kind of important because if you have synthetic fiber lint on your microfiber, it's no longer um, going to be able to avoid scratching your, your car. So what do you think there? It's pretty good, huh? I don't see any scratches. And it doesn't leave, it doesn't leave a micro swirl or anything in your paint. I'm trying to get like lots of different lighting here so you can kind of see there's no, you know, that's a little bit, I haven't wiped off of there. But, uh, you know, you can hit it with a damp rag too. And uh, I'm looking real close. I'm not seeing any kind of micro swirl or anything like that, you know. And, uh, this is an older car. It's 13 years old. Uh, my buddy kept it in the garage you know it's a garage queen it's his whole life but it's not got perfect paint and never will um but you know some of these bigger scratches that are you kind of notice them when you're looking for them and it might might bug you maybe you got a nice car and uh you know take care of it uh, this is one way to do it so um what it won't do and I, I seem to recall like this is where we got it and i'm talking when i'm say i got it this long time ago I mean, like six, seven years ago, probably. It's been in that bottle. The lid won't quite close. But what I want to tell you is that what it won't do is deal with stuff like this. These uh, big rock chips. For this, you got to do touch up paint. Uh, and uh, it gets a little trickier then. I'm not sure. Oops, where is it? Yeah, those big chips. It's not going to solve those. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to work on those later. I just, uh, I was actually kind of thinking about doing these chips and then I started thinking about how I had just seen the scratch remover the other day. So I decided to come uh, look around in the, in, at the car and see if I could find any scratches to try it on. And, uh, sure enough. So I think, I, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, there you go.